Hey, you guys, it's Corinne from Finding Corinne, and thank you for joining me on Meditation Motivational Monday. I wanted to preface this episode to let you guys know today is Tuesday, and um, it's just been struggle trying to get the video done on Monday to upload on Monday, and so I'm trying not to beat myself up too much about it. Um, and I don't know, I filmed it like three, four times. I tried to do it at different times and everything, and then it just got too late. And then I'm like, I'll just forget it for right now. It's it's important, but I need to make dinner, which we had eggs out last night, which was interesting because I tried a new technique. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, it's going to be three meditation readings and then and then the motivational phrases. And there's two I want to read, and then I'll go ahead and link them down below for you in the uh, format that I've been doing. And then I'll list all the the book information, and then the um, the links for the the meditation. Um, so we're we're gonna go ahead and get started with meditation, and um, so we start off with our breathing. And I do three three deep breaths. Uh, so I breathe in through my nose. And I hold it for like two to three seconds and then I exhale very slowly and I push it out um, like I would be pushing it out through a straw, like blowing and bubbles. And do what you need to do to get in your meditation uh, place or whatnot. So just try and clear your mind and listen to the words. Now, see how you feel at that point when you take your last breath, if this is how you get to your your center, your core, your meditation spot. And I'm going to read from the today's reading. Um, it's January 24th, and the title of today is Humility. And I'm just going to read the whole thing because it's really good. And I'm going to replace the word recovery with the word healing. Um, because that's what recover recovery means to me is your healing um so here we go it is the suffering we experience as a result of overeating compulsively which eventually makes us humble enough to admit that we are powerless over food until we have the, nece the necessary humility healing is impossible as, a, as long as we think we can successfully control and direct our lives by ourselves, we shall continue to fail. Some of us hit bottom sooner than others. If we are lucky, we can see where the disease is leading us and what the inevitability, in, inevitable result will be if we do not find help from a source outside ourselves. Whether we hit a high bottom or a low bottom, when we finally reach it, the only way to go, the only way to go is up. When we are humble enough to seek help by turning over our will, we share. I'm sorry. We shall find the help we need. Maintaining an attitude of humility is essential for our healing. If we allow ourselves to fall into a trap of pride and egotism, we are headed for a slip. Understanding our weakness and dependence on a higher power is the beginning of strength. May I be granted humility. So take that pause if you need to, to be able to reflect on the words that were stated. If take a moment okay welcome back and so now i'm gonna go ahead and start reading i'll be looking over this way because that's where the um other you need to get back is. into your your place and do your breathing you can go ahead and do that i'll probably just yawn hey, excuse me but i'll probably um oh there we go um go ahead and just get into the reading i'll just do the one breath. So this is meditations for women slash For men. today, the topic is tap into this hidden opportunity. Teachers are all around you. 
We often make the mistake of thinking super achievers are the only people who can teach us anything. We forget about the single mom next door who can teach us perseverance. The old man walking down, the old man walking slowly in front of us who can teach us patience. And the child playing in the mud who can teach us that a little dirt in the end of the world. You can also gain wisdom from others, mistakes, thoughts, ideas, and actions. There are, there are learning opportunities galore all around you, but you need to be open and willing to receive and act upon them. Instead of jumping to conclusions that something isn't relevant to you, or telling yourself that you are ready to do something as well as you can, take a new approach. Take a closer look at those around you and ask yourself, what can I learn? Today's affirmation, and I love it, I am open and willing to learn from my surroundings. So take a moment, pause if you must, and just think about the words, about being willing and being open. It's one thing I've learned in the past few years is that to be willing to be willing is something that I had to start off with in order to be willing and open to learn from others. There you go. Take a moment. Okay, so now I'm going to read from the meditations for weight loss. So getting back in our place, our happy place, our quiet. Satisfaction is sweet when you succeed in spite of discouraging words. How many of you guys have unsupport, <clears throat> how can I say it? How many of you guys have those supporters who are unsupportive, who make these little snide comments and stuff? So, satisfaction is sweet when you succeed in spite of discouraging words. Do you have someone in your life that's knocking down your dreams? Someone who's trying to make you quit? Telling you that you're wasting your time trying to lose weight, you'll never succeed. If so, do the opposite of what they are saying. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let their discouraging words motivate you to succeed. That used to be my MO. And, you know, when someone said I wouldn't, you know, there's no way I would go to college. But I did. And I finished. And I have a degree. And I did it on my own. And I now have a huge debt. <laughs> so, um, but I'm happy I was able to accomplish that. Yes, it's hard at first, especially if you've been listening to and giving in to those who say you can't do it. Decide right now not to listen anymore. You have a choice. There's always choices. Try your hardest to block out the discouragement and forge ahead. Just imagine how good you feel. Just imagine how good you will feel when you accomplish what you want to do. There is no sweeter success than reaching a goal when others told you no. Today's affirmation is the discouragement from others motivates me to lose weight. Uh, So pause the video if you need to, to reflect on that. Um, and I'll share my thoughts. What I got moment. out of those three, the, the best thing I got out of those three is to be willing and to be open. Um, for me, that means I can continue to have my peace and I can take what I like and leave the rest. People are just coming, you know, they're, they're coming from love. Most of the time, I would feel, most of the time, people are coming from love, especially if it's family or friends. They just want to help. They want to see you succeed. And it's just, um, you know, it's our perception that they're trying to control what we're doing. They think that w other people think that I can't do it, that I'm doing it wrong and blah, blah, blah. But what I've learned is that they are truly thinking that they are helping 
when they give the advice and they give these little comments and stuff. <clears throat> and if I'm if I'm just open and willing, allowing my higher power to help me with that, I can succeed in anything I want to do. It may not be in my time, but it will I will get there at some point. I will be with you momentarily by movie magic, editing magic. It won't be but a second. Um, I will come back with you um, with the motivational um, quotes. It's on my laptop. I forgot about that one. All right, you guys, I'm back. And I don't know if you can tell. My face right here is all red now because I was kissing on my puppy or my beagle. She'll be eight years old next month. We adopted her in December. I think it was December 13th, maybe? I, mm. Anyways, but her birthday is in February, and she'll be eight years old. And she's just a cutie paternity. She, her name is Lucy, and you'll see her in some of the videos if you haven't already. But I'm allergic to dogs, and it's just topical. And I get rashy, hivey stuff, so I can just put some... Benadryl on there and it'll clear up but anyway so I got my my tablet and um and I have your motivational phrases and I wanted to share there were two that I really wanted to share along with the the one that I would read today and today's for the 24th I'm going to give you Mondays down below um for the 24th um, to focus on is nobody can do it for you. You have to do it yourself. Um, I used to think that that was harsh to tell someone that because, you know, for me, I, you know, I never thought that I was wanting someone to do it for me, you know, and, um, and it's true. I don't want someone to do it for me. I want to do it myself. I just would like someone to hold my hand and do it with me. Um, you know, that's the type of support I want. I, I want someone to be like, you know, if, if I binged for whatever reason, I want someone to say, well, you know what? Let's start over right now, both of us. Um, you know, and, and let's let's go get a bottle of water and let's drink that bottle of water while we talk about, you know, wh what was the pos what was the reason why you binged, you know? So, um, to think about the phrase, nobody can do it for you. You have to do it yourself. Um, so that's the little, <laughs> I know it's not necessarily motivational, but it's something to, you know, keep you going. No one can do it for you. You know, you have to make up your mind what you're going to do and just follow through and be consistent. Following through is hard for me, but I, I'm better at following through than I am at consistency. So working on that is, is, you know, is a good thing. And so there were two other ones I wanted to share. Um, oh, well, maybe there's three. I just, I want to say them out loud because they are so good. Um... One of them is, it's in there all this week, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'll save that other one for, um, for next video for next week. Because it's one, two, three, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Yeah, because the, the next one is the one I want to read. And that's on Monday next week. Um... So the other one is, today is my tomorrow. It's up to me to shape it, to take control and seize every opportunity. The power is in the choices I make each day. I eat well, I live well, I shape me. I got goosebumps, you guys. The power is in the choice. It's in the choice. And then the other one is... You aren't fat. You have fat. Fat does not define you. That one was a good one, but um, the other one I liked better. So, I also need to tell you guys 
my focus is going to be this week and then also hashtag my why. Those are the things that I've been forgetting to do on video. And so my focus this week is to take it easy, keep it simple. That's what it is. You know, first things first, all my little lovely slogans that I love to use is put those into practice and, um, and everything and not to beat myself up. Um, and just to focus on, you know, what can I accomplish right now? What am I doing? And right, I'm doing it. I'm doing my video without my kids here. I'm not sitting here watching TV or playing on YouTube or Facebook, you know, or binging. I am accomplishing something that I can do. I'm using my time wisely. I am not farting around. I, ouch. I am being productive. So, for my focus is to be productive. There you go. See, I just have to talk things out. And what better way to do it with you guys? Um, and hashtag my why is... So I don't fall back into the dark place. And that dark place is my depression, which I isolate, which I live like a hermit. And then I get all woe is me. And I get uh, to the point to where I am um, a martyr and I do so much. And uh, it's just such a hard life and, and stuff. And it's, it's really not. I'm just taking one moment at a time. One day at a time, one moment at a time, one bite at a time. So I'll see you guys uh, later. And tomorrow I will do like a... I'm not going to be weighing in on any product or anything because I, I want to give you um, my weigh in from last week and then my weigh in tomorrow. Which will be interesting because I'm on lady time and I binged, I think. Well, I, I know I definitely binged yesterday because I've just, I, I, I don't even want to talk about it. Um, but I didn't track yesterday and I didn't track the day before. And today is Taco Tuesday, you guys. So I have my taco salad tonight. And we will see what the scale will reveal to me tomorrow. But I'll be alright. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, you'll be able to be updated on the different videos that I upload. And it's supposed to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But you'll never know what me. I keep it, you know, I keep it real. And for me, my real is, you know, just a hot mess. So, um, so subscribe if you heard anything you liked in this video or any of my other videos. If you go venturing out into my uh, YouTube career world, um, give me a thumbs up if you watch any of my videos that have anything to do with food and you see something yummy or something interesting give me a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions comments concerns constructive criticism i li listen read all of them and uh if i need to get back to you i definitely will sometimes it takes me a little bit longer because you know i forget to do things and that's just you know another disease I have, like flat surface syndrome. I have like CRS, I can't remember shit. So, <laughs> on that note, oh, yes, if you are a very caring person, you will share my channel. You will share this video, Facebook, YouTube. Well, wait, we are YouTube. So, yeah, Facebook, Twitter. I don't know if you could do it with Snapchat. I don't think you can, but if you can, it would be nice. And then you can also email it to people and text it to people. What a great gift to give. A great gift to give a silly stay-at-home mommy who has all kinds of stuff going on, but she'd rather be here with you. With you. So, I will go ahead and end this. I need to go ahead and start editing it. It is lunchtime, and I will see you guys later. Bye!